began to learn the shady history of Neutropolis shortly after my week-long <coughs> holiday in the Blue Pens. Most events happened before my time, but I was soon to get swept up in the events which had transformed this radical, free-thinking utopia into the polluted pit of boredom it is today. Something was up with the population, something unnatural and sinister. My life and theirs were about to change forever. I'll start right at the beginning. I was spending a little quality time walking a couple blocks and whistling a particularly annoying tune I had composed. Suddenly, from out of the smog... Whoa! Hi guys! I spent seven lousy days in a Spartan blue box, basically for being too happy. And on every one of those days, those norm guys piped into my cell what can only be described as elevator music. Normalizing, they call it. Whew. Then, on the last day... Frustrated? Want to meet some like-minded individuals? Want to do something about the state of the city? Get a job and snoop around plush rest. You'll find a group in one of the dumpsters around the back. An empathizer. This was my first contact with people on the same wavelength. Stuff was about to change for the first time in almost 40 years. Remember these coming with the apartment. <laughs> They're getting kind of lumpy. Gravity is an uncut. Okay, it's important to be comfy wherever you go. I think this would be more useful in the next few minutes. Okay, but if it pecks me, it's history. the TV on. Yes, this might fool that rookie Norm out on the landing. Pecking bird plus stubborn remote uh, just looks like junk mail to me. Frustrated? Want to meet some like-minded individuals? Want to do something about the state of the city? Get a job and snoop around plush rest. You'll find a group in one of the dumpsters around the back. An empathizer? It's an old t-shirt with I am fat in the front and honest really on the back. 
Okay, I have it. Did you crave for a plush posterior perch? Are you unhealthily heavy? Then come and work in our test department. Good shifts, lots of sitting, as much food as you can eat, and hear this, you get paid for it. See Mr. Brinkler right away. Remember the plush rest motto, if your butt's in a rush, buy the best by plush rest. To the world's most normal dad. I didn't buy it, honest. It came with the apartment. Got it! It's a jar of old white paint. Unfortunately, I added a little too much water to the mixture, and it resembles fat-free milk now. Okay, I've got it. It's a little cardboard box. This must come in handy. Doesn't time pass slowly when you're having fun? Ah, the after effects of a cooking accident. It ruined my white shirt, too. Ah, this could have been one of my greatest inventions. If only I had a real shark to test it on. I'll soon have this sucker out. That's disgusting! Take a shower, baby. Look at that bald patch. I'm sure the scissors were never that big. Let's see what's down here. Aha! There's some mu- ah! That's done it. I've broken it. How come any money I find in furniture always has sand stuck to it? Right! Got him! What the heck is this? I think it came from my couch. It's making some really weird sounds. Spooky! I've got it, but I'm not comfortable with the idea. It's stiff, but I can manage it. I'll be glad to get out of here. Carefully does it. Don't look down! He seems friendly enough. Hi there! Can you give me a lift down to the street, old man? Hey, less of the old prefix, please. Name's Guy. If I were to take you down, what will you do in return? What do you need, Dai? I have lots of stuff inside. How about a nice cushion? It must be hard sitting on that cold metal all the time. Don't worry about that, boy. The only thing that needs warming are my heart and my hands. How about a nice warm beverage? Okay, what flavor drink do you want? Coffee, milk, quickly. There's a good boy. See you a little later, Dai. Sooner rather than later, I hope. Back to Boardsville. Is that your bank? I can't see any use for it at the moment. What am I supposed to do with it? I'll just let it boil. I'll just pour in this water. Easy does it. Well, I don't suppose it wouldn't hurt that much. The strong abrasive edge of the coffee will probably mask the chalky aftertaste of the paint. At least it looks like milk. It's stiff, but I can manage it. I'll be glad to get out of here. Carefully does it.
Here you go, Di. Sorry about the delay. Hey, thank you, Sonny. I'll have you down in no time. Hey, this coffee tastes a little, uh, unique. Yeah, it has a special secret ingredient left to me by the previous occupiers of my apartment. Well, that's a secret you might want to let me in on one of these days. Di? Yes? Why is every day so gray? The air quality is very poor today. It's been like this for nearly 30 years. Since just before I began my new life in this cradle. I haven't seen the sun for decades. It used to cheer up men, women, cats, dogs, and plants. It all seemed a lot happier back then, before the great shake-up. The sun? What is that? I think my mom mentioned it once before she threw me out for cutting class and chilling out all the time. Didn't you pay attention in modern history classes? The sun is a huge slow-motion nuclear explosion in space, shedding warmth on the people of our planet. You say the sun sends warmth? I don't see it anywhere, you old dreamer. Dreamer? How dare you? It's up there, boy. It's beyond this big cloud of soot that hangs over the city. Great shakeup? I think I remember something about that in modern history class. But there was something interesting going on outside at the time. It all happened one sunny day about 30 years ago. The day Saul Nistelux was blown into a million tiny pieces. Ah, God bless him. His brother Paul Nistelux bravely filled his shoes, then unveiled his approachable army of Norm Troopers. Things have never been the same since. But the pile of soot has been up there for as long as I can remember. Another one of life's little mysteries, son. Paul Nistelux is our leader, right? Sheesh, kid. Things don't change in this city on a daily basis. He's been leading us for years. So everyone likes him, right? They seem to. No one complains. I just keep myself personal up here. Why did you start a new life in this cradle? I'll just say that I wasn't totally impressed with the departure of Saul Nistelux. So I've declared myself a free state. Why weren't you impressed? Get out into the city and find out for yourself, boy. Open your eyes and dig some dirt. I might bump into you again soon. You seem the right type. Say, do you know what this throbbing, worry thing is? <sighs> I don't have a clue, but I feel a bit weird when I'm near it. Bye, die, you crazy old guy. Better to be crazy than lazy, boy. I'll say au revoir because I got a feeling I'll see you again soon. You have a spark I haven't seen for ages. Looks as though this dumpster is a very popular place. The prints are all different. Some are big boots. I wouldn't like to find out who they belong to. Now those slinky slingback prints there, I'd like to bump into the wearer of those. No thanks. It's a big bullet-shaped canister full of welding gas. I could drag it a little way, but probably no further than I can see. Apparently, people live on this river. They make rafts out of junk. Crazy people. Got it.
It's an old t-shirt with I am fat in the front and honest, really, on the back. Okay, I'll put it on. A friendly but nervous face. Hi, I'm interested in the job of furniture testing. Could you arrange an interview for me? Mr. Brinkler is the name I've been given. You look a little... How can I put this? Slim, our testers pride themselves on their corpulence. I'm not sure you would fit in. Can you read, Ms? My t-shirt proclaims in large and garish letters the nature of my stature. Ah, yes. That will do nicely. One cannot argue with the written word. I am fat. Indeed you are. I'll page Mr. Brinkler right away. Mr. Brinkler, there is an interviewee to see you. Show him through, eh? Please go through to the plush rest hospitality niche. Make yourself comfortable. Mr. Brinkler will be along presently. Bizarre. I'm convinced that they rotate the face beat like paintings in a horror movie. This green button must be the creature's eye. I think the sculpture must be a metaphor for jealousy or something. I guess I pressed the green eye. Well, here it goes. I've never seen such an evocative and compelling rendering. The green eye, the boiling rage, it all adds up to one of the most brilliantly observed and executed things I have ever seen. Mr. Harry Zontal. I see you've made yourself more than comfortable in our hospitality niche. You certainly know how to make an impact, don't you? I'd like to be the first to congratulate you on getting a job in the prestigious Plush Rest Test Department. I haven't seen such finely honed destructive skills as yours since, since old Gordon Smasher Hodgson worked here. And he could break things in his sleep, literally. I think you'll fit in here just fine. Follow me, and I'll take you to our cosy little test department. There you can have a look around. Great! Right, now that we're in my office, Mr. Zontal, what can I tell you? Well, Mr. Brinkler, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm a glad to... Please, call me Tiddler. Everyone around here does. It helps to create the kind of working family atmosphere you'll come to appreciate. Now, tell me. Why did you apply for this job? What have you got to offer us? Um, how come they call you Tiddler? Are you a bit short on something? I think it's irony or something like that. Tell you a secret, boy. I've never really understood it myself. Um, I like to use furniture on a daily basis. I've always been interested in its construction and its, um, components. Well, we here in the test department are more interested in its deconstruction. You get my drift? <laughs> That's no joke for me. Don't worry about the components, though. Why have we no need to worry about the components, Mr. B uh, Tiddler? Well, we have what we call waste engineers employed here. At Paul Nistelux's own expense, mind you to make sure that the place is always kept spotless. They don't seem to like anyone messing about with broken furniture. What exactly are waste engineers? They're the guys who make sure that none of the stuff we bust is left around for more than a minute. They're a division of the Norm Trooper Army. Why that? Not sure, really. Maybe it's an insurance thing. Splinters and such can be deadly, I understand. Leader Paul makes the orders. We just follow them. I seem to have broken quite a lot of furniture myself today. 
I found some strange stuff among the debris. Perhaps that's why they like to get it out of the way quickly. What kind of stuff did you find? I discovered a couple of gizmos. I don't know what they do, though. All I can hear is a strange whispering noise when I hold it close to my ear. Here, listen. Oh, yes. I've got it. Maybe it's a device for making a strange whispering noise. No, hang on. On second thoughts, I feel a little weird when you hold it up close. Maybe it's a relaxation device, son. Or all sort of drape. I ain't never seen one before, and that's how good our waste engineers are. So they are norms. Something very fishy is going on around here. No, son. You came here to destruct test furniture. If it's fish you want, try the mint mall. I hear they're having a sale at the moment. Why would Paul, our uh, glorious leader, be interested in a furniture factory? Especially the handling of waste. Oh, I don't know. I never really thought about that. All I know is that since the day when his brother died, Paul has been interested in furniture. That's when he took over the company's affairs. Thanks for all that. Go and have a look around, kid. It's a bit quiet today, but I can't go into that. Take as long as you like. Oh, and don't break anything. There's a spot of trouble concerning that particular aspect. Right, I'm off to a meeting. Got it, strange little thing. This thing's useless. I might need that current receiver, though. That's Tiddler. Wow, I bet he's proud to be featured in New Porker magazine. Tiddler's medal for winning the Neutropolis eating competition. Wow. This must be Paul Nistelux. Weird. I don't want it. Jeez, this is heavy. I can just manage it. Congratulations! You are now the proud owner of the unique Slumber Swift system. No more tossing and turning. No more plumping up the pillows. Simply program in the amount of sleep you require. Turn it on and let the bed do the rest. You'll sleep like a log and awaken fresh and ready for a great day ahead. Someone's ripped the plug off this wire. Hmm, if I wire this to this, yes, I do believe I have the ability to generate power. I'll just leave it here as a potential power source to the bed. If I have a power source, the bed will work now. Why won't you let me pass? Why can't I go in there? Mr. Brinkler said I could look around. Badge! Not likely, is it? It's Smasher! One of the all-time top testers at the factory. Wow, my hero! Might be useful in some obscure situation.
The toilet door. Extraordinary powers of observation. Some of these guys are scheduled for seven dinners a day. How's it going? Aye. Ah, oh, not so well, my well upholstered friend. We're all on strike, hence the relative quiet around this department. No one is going to break anything, especially the picket line we plan to set up after the meeting that's going on now. What are you on strike for? They plan to replace us with machines. Apparently they have something to hide. Something to do with a gadget one of our guys found in a chair. How come they want a new tester if they're going to replace everyone with droids? Well, it was advertised before this happened, wasn't it? We've been a body short for some time. What sort of gadget? A timing gadget or something. Collected information relating to how long people sat on their sofas for. They reckon it's sensitive, so they're going to replace us all with more precise droids. So there's no debris around the place? No one's breaking anything? No, nope. the only debris is that in Tiddler's office. He's real proud of that. I'll be on my way then. Cheer up, it might never happen. Actually, I think it already is. This one opens. Books. Elizabethan costume and fire starter. Got him. Riot control device. Aim at the base of the nonconformist. Ensure that lever A does not intersect its dangle angle with the potential arc of rod C. Press all buttons labeled blue. Right. I need to press the three buttons at the bottom while I throw the two yellow levers at the top. Tying this around here will keep those three buttons depressed. Cool! Cool! Those lethal saw blades have stopped now. soulless puss bag. I'm not a norm, honest. Prove it, boring boy. I've been to the blue pens, imprisoned by the norms. I expect you were just there doing your job, torturing people, displaying any will of their own. You are total scum. 
come. Don't lie to me. One false word and my guys will ventilate your head. I, I hate the norms. They lock me up for just whistling a cool tune in the street. It was a Brian Deluge track. Brian is a wanted man. How do I know that you haven't come after him? How did you find this place? I was told about this place a couple of times. It seemed my destiny to end up here. Who told you about this place? I want names! I want evidence! Tell me now or cash your chips in! Well, I met a crazy window cleaner by the name of Dai. He told me that furniture testing can lead to greater things. He said that there were probably a lot of nice people at the furniture factory if I were to fall into the right circles. So you met Dai. He is one of the founder members of our group. If he liked you, I suppose I should. I was in the maximum security blue pants. The normal ones are full. Apparently, it's high season for different behavior at the moment. I have heard of the blue pens place. There are many conflicting opinions about them. A lot of speculation as to what Paul is keeping there. Some say that he hides a great secret there. Well, whatever he holds there, the people seem very nice. I didn't need any of them, but one of them gave me a note telling me to come here. Let me see it. So, it might be true. What? What is true? I will tell you if you prove your worth to our cause. You must perform two subversive tasks which will help me with my research, ultimately leading to revolution! I accept the challenge. Tell me what the tasks are and I'll do anything to show my hatred of Paul and his Norm army. Especially something, uh, did you say submersive? I said subversive, you fool. One. I want you to broadcast a video of Brian Deluge on national TV. Here's the video. Two, I want you to paint the cubic sculpture at the Mint Mall a lovely yellow. Could you write that down? Then when I've done the tasks, will you tell me what you believe the note is about? Okay. You were on your own all along. That's cheating. Yes, you can't be too careful when you're on the wrong side of the law in this town. I think I trust you now. Go, so, perform your duty. So what do I do? Aren't you going to give me a special gun or something? A, a magic sword, at least? You are on your own. Sorry, what is your name? Kent. I'm sorry, Kent. I can't supply weapons. We are a pacifist group. You are on your own now. I can only give you one thing. A code phrase. There is a sympathizer at the mall. To get help, just say, If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. You and I together? Sheesh! Yeah, I can lift it now. Hello? Hello, young man. Can I interest you in some of the greatest matches the world has ever seen? Um, I'm a little low on cash at the moment. Well, that's just fine, son. I don't accept cash anyhow. I only deal in collectibles. Uh, like what? Stamps? Paperweights? Coins? No, obviously not coins. Uh... You seem to be an intelligent gent. Go find me a nice novel I can immerse myself in. Books you want, but you're, uh, uh, how can I put this tactfully? You're as blind as an egg. First impressions aren't always what they seem to be, my good friend. In fact, sometimes they're the total opposite of what they appear. So what you're trying to say is that you can see. Well, you're as fast as lightning, aren't you? I can see all right, but I can't see colors. Red, hat, blue, <laughs> means the total sum of 
hero to me. I see the world in Archie Barkey black and white. What kind of novel do you want? Well, that would be telling. I like prose, rich, flowing prose, English stuff. Stuff with brocade and crago line in it. Uh, stuff like Shakespeare, perhaps? Can't say I've heard of the boy, son. Is he one of those new wave authors? One of those guys who don't know how to write proper? Uh, not exactly. Bye now. Goodbye, young man. Is this book to your taste? Well, bless my soul. I'll have this one and no mistake. There's just a small question of the matches. Oh, sorry. Here, reckon I'd forget my own name if I hadn't already. Yeah, right. Thanks for the matches. Excuse me, Mr. Norm, sir. Go away, citizen. I'm not supposed to fraternize with the public. I'm here to protect you all. What? Just you on your own? Never underestimate the abilities of a Norm. Hmm. I won't. Excuse me, Mr. Norm, sir. Go away, citizen. I'm not supposed to fraternize with the public. I'm here to protect you all. What? Just you on your own? Never underestimate the abilities of a norm. Hmm. I won't. I can just reach it. I should pay for it, really, but I can't at the moment. That one. It hurts, but I think I'll need several dogs out there. Hello, miss. Do you enjoy working in here? <laughs> you do stuff like that and it'll stunt your growth. Uncle Jeb was only 32 centimeters tall at the age of 30. Are you listening to me? This here's a tow-away zone. Pack up your bait box and hightail it. You're as mad as a marble. You're no hope whatsoever. Goodbye. These boots are made for walking. Indeed. I should pay for it, really, but I can't at the moment. Got one. <laughs> it hurts, but I think I'll need several dogs out there. I should pay for it, really, but I can't. Got one. Long-handed shears. I've nothing to chop. Okay, I have them. I don't, however, have enough money to purchase them. Okay, I have them at last. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, my lardy pal? I, I, I hate this place. I'd rather be anywhere else in the whole big wide world than right here, right now. Why don't you take a break? I can't. I'll get fired. I hate my job. Why don't you try for a job elsewhere? You should have no trouble in today's thriving labor market. Can't do nothing properly. I'm just a walking waste of water. Why, I can't even do this simple job right. Connect to a hi-fi for instant sound. Hey, get away from there, citizen. Our glorious leader did not design this beautiful sculpture to be used as a climbing frame. I will not stand around and watch you defile it with your cheap footwear. I just wanted to get closer to become one with this uh, remarkable piece. Get away from that! Cheers! I'll be off then. And I shall protect good citizens such as yourself. Hiya, I'm Kent. I don't know any Kent. Sure you do. Heather told me. Yeah, what did she tell you, man? Oh yeah, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Sure thing. Sounds about right. I'm Brian. What do you want to know, man? See you later, Bri. It's Brian to you, Kenty. Alright. Ciao. I'm sure Brian won't mind if I borrow this for a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. That should do the trick! Ouch! Pain! But I need to leave it on to make those stupid yappy puppies strut their stuff! <laughs> yellow paint before I start a fire. It's no good as it is. Heather was quite definite about the yellow paint part. Hey, that's cool! This thing has its own auto siphon facility. Should be filled up in no time. Citizen, may I ask where you located that extinguisher? It's Norm Equipment, serial number F092. I, uh, found. I sort of found it, sir, in a bush. Sort of. Thank you, citizen, for putting that extinguisher down. What? What are you going to do? I'm afraid, citizen, that I am going to have to comply with Citizen Directive Nick 808 and ask you to hand it over. Otherwise, I'll have to use my forceful voice. I can talk in forcefulness at the Academy. Thank you for showing concern, Mr. Norman. I could have swallowed that and choked. The city is a safer place with guys like you standing around in it all day. All the day, Thanks! 
Goodbye, Norm, sir. Stay normal, citizen. The base of the waffle is the best place. Hang on a minute. Hey, Norm! Never mind that pack of wild animals. Come and attend to this raging inferno, pronto! Everybody, lie down. Take short, panting breaths and don't move. Make your way to the nearest exit. I will deal with the fire. Do not panic! Like a match, I might be able to see a way out of here. Let's see. Ah, light. Yeah. Those crates are full of firecrackers! Citizen, I want an explanation from you. I... I can't explain. Don't send me back to the blue... Where did you get that firefighting equipment? Ever, ever since I used it, I, I feel... Well... I feel weird. Come with me. I think I know some people who can help you. Hi. Who the hell is that with you? My soul's eyes, it's a Norm Trooper! This is Norm 2782. He got injured when the waffle got painted. I reckon you guys would be able to help him. He's injured and confused. Well, we'll see what we can do. We don't normally like to have anything to do with his sort. Now go and complete the rest of your tasks. I met Brian. He's a bit weird. Not really very helpful. Yes, he can be a little strange. I guess it's the artistic temperament or something. He tends to resent new members. That's why we only have, uh, three to be exact. You plan to undermine the current power base with three people? Well, we'll have four if you manage to succeed in your task. So hurry, and the revolution could be happening tomorrow! Yeah, tomorrow! Tomorrow, right. Presuming, of course, that it's not wash day or Brian doesn't have a gig or something. Brian doesn't actually do anything. He's more of a spiritual member of the group. He guides us with his thoughts and music. Yeah, thoughts and music. Sheesh! Can you tell me about that note now? You went gaga when I showed you that, and you said, so it might be true, like someone in a tragic fantasy film. Well, I can't really tell you at the moment. Finish your tasks, and I will tell you. Tell you. Okay, I'll try. So I'll just go and carry on the struggle then. Bye, Kent. Good luck. We'll just hold the fort here for a while. See you soon, boy. I wish I was coming with you. Well, I'm glad you weren't. I can't get into it! <laughs> Looks like even the norms get bored standing in one place for too long. <laughs> They've sent a robot to look after me. I'm truly flattered. Lots of bats live in this building. They seem happy enough. What, from here? Get real! It doesn't appear to be locked from this side. Convenient! It's good to be home again. There's a rat stuck inside. Yeah, this is heavy enough to smash the glass. 
a gift to make up for all the aggravation I caused earlier. Why, cheers, son. It's nice to know that a surly, unpersonable, and downright rude attitude is appreciated by the young generation. Success. It can transform a mediocre day into a golden-edged memory to pass on to subsequent generations. Well, it's certainly large. I guess they're trying to impress me, but it hasn't worked. Help, are you? That's not my job. Now leave me alone. What do you think you're doing, Bozo? Well, you dirty it, you clean it. Arr! Looks like this guy just took a bullet. I'll throw it and keep the badge. There's a name. Ben Holen Elliot. Holen. That's a funny name. Excuse me. Can I help you? Can I ask if you want to go out when this game is over? My boyfriend won't like that. I forget about him. I'm more fun to be with. Uh, my 17-year-old bodybuilding boyfriend won't agree. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. Never mind. It was just a thought. Can I speak with Mr. Johnson, please? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but I do have a very important videotape. Wait a minute. Mr. Johnson, sir? Ah, uh, yes? There's a man to see you, sir. Well, send him over. You can see him now. Thanks. Thanks for your help. That's what I'm here for. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson. Uh, I don't want to take up much of your time, but... Uh... Now, what do you want? I'm extremely busy right now. Speak up. Don't take all day. Well, I, uh, I have this video that I've been told has to be played today. What is it? Who sent you? Uh... I don't know what's on it. The orders came from uh, Mr. Nistelux himself. All right. Well, I'm too busy right now. Take it to the studio. Here, you'll need this card. Thank you, sir. Be gone. I'm very busy. I think 
think I'm talking to myself. Open Sesame! That's coming on the 5th of the month. Over to Barbara. And now we have a very important video clip of the latest best-selling single by Brian Deluge. Brian. Things weren't so bad. I've sold a few copies of Zen Throb. The message is already out there. I think we should wait for the groundswell before we further expose group safety by taking further action. There is no groundswell, Brian. Kent is part of the group now, our man in the field. There is no argument. How do you feel about that, Kent? I feel fine about that, Brian. It gives me some purpose to my life. Cool. Welcome aboard. So is there any news on the gizmos from the factory? What do you reckon they do? As yet, I have made limited progress. I have a hunch that they might be something to do with people's behavior patterns, but I can't quite pin it down. Do you think you might discover their secret soon? It seems a little sinister that no one knows exactly what they do. Well, we think that we might know where a man is who could help us out with this problem. Your note was a clue. Oh yeah, the note. Who was that from? It's from Saul, not quite dead twin brother of Leader Paul. He's still alive? He is, and somehow he knows about our group. So what do we do next? The next thing you do is infiltrate the ordinary outpost and liberate Saul. His knowledge would be invaluable at this time. Okay, as much as I think this is crazy, I'll do it. I'm nothing to lose anyhow. Your name will be Legend. Good luck, Kent. Free Saul. Work your way to the roof of the ordinary outpost. Ty will be waiting for you there in one of his cradles. Fellow Norm. Go ahead, Norm 2782. You know what these things are for? I got no idea, Norm. Why don't you take it up to research? I'm just a test bomb resource. I'm not even allowed to go to the men's room. Is that why you turned off the fountain? Well, no. It's out of order, but that's fine. The sound of those tinkling droplets might cause a little, uh, you know what a mob? Uh, a kind of a spillage. Where is research? I'll give you the code, Norm. One, five, seven, two. Pep that into the keypad right over there. Then the elevator will take you directly to the labs. One, five, seven, two. You got that? One, five, seven, two. Thanks, bud. Stay normal.
I'll be off to do some work then. Yeah, you do that. No luck. Wrong code. No luck. Wrong code. Yay! Progress! I wonder if I can find Saul now. I'll take a couple. No one will miss them. Brian might even sign them if he's ever in a good frame of mind. Okay. There's some kind of scanner inside. I think the glass is soundproof. Kinda looks like he's enjoying it. You're so lucky, pal. I expect that makes you forget about your terrible cold. Praise friend.
I used this in the factory and mall. I think those are my fingerprints. Whoops. Hey, that's Brian from his video at the TV station. It may come in handy later. Isn't that where I am right now? Okay, I hope the guy that put it there notices it's gone or there could be a nasty... The best place to stand it is round the front. The ground is firmer there. I don't have a rig which would haul this baby. It's definitely an engine. There's some little cogs loose inside. I don't see anywhere to use it around here. I don't see anywhere to use it around here. There. I managed to extract that little cog. to get caught yellow-handed. I think I'll leave it here. I can't. The grinder is broken. Maybe if I can fix it. Hey, it looks like it was made to fit. Lucky I don't want to get caught yellow-handed. I think I'll... Now they will never know the secret of the special blue magnet blocking formula. I got it. That's wiped him off. Greetings, fellow friend of Paul. Yes? Can you tell me what you're doing to that guy in there? I am testing the human mind's tolerance to rock. Enter room! I am expecting the man to expire quite soon. Expire? You mean like die? What happens then? What will that prove? I will then need another subject. And it will prove that this type of music is extremely dangerous indeed. Particularly when played at insufferable volcanic volume. Pardon? Uh, stay normal. What seems to be the problem, esteemed colleague? Our normally faithful 
same technology appears to be having a tantrum again. In short, I cannot contact the processing floor using email. Never mind. Maybe you can find something else to do. This research is critical! Get up there or tell them I need a fresh volunteer sending down at the tube! From the processing floor? Indeed, no. From the processing floor. I'll be off then. Fellow Norm. Go ahead, Norm 2782. Hi, you couldn't tell me the code for the processing floor, could you? Why you do that? Forgot to have ya. No, stay normal. I'll be off to do some work then. Yeah, you do that. Excuse me, fellow Norm. Go ahead, Norm 2782. Where is research? I'll give you the code, Norm. 1572. Tap that into the keypad right over there, and the elevator will take you directly to the lab. 1572. You got that? 1572. Thanks, bud. Stay normal. Looks like I fixed the fountain. Indeed you have. I must go away now. Rather sudden, I know, but I have an urgent appointment with Armitage Shanks. A piece of paper with 1312 printed on it. distorts their features. No one looks very happy either. Whoever that is looks like they got plenty on their mind. Um, <clears throat> could I help you with anything, sir? Another electronic screen. All it says is processing session data. Weird. Normal. Terrible word. Almost as bad as brain dead. This guy looks like he's managed to weather the storm a little better than those other saps. I wonder what goes on inside these tubes. Still no luck. They're super cold. How? Psst. 
mission begins. My god, it's Leader Paul! Or it could be... Seven eight two. Why are you here? I'm on guard here. You have failed in a most comprehensive manner, Norm, by allowing a dangerous and different subversive to ruin one of the city's primary shopping facilities. I also find you in a restricted area. As punishment, you will work the next five weeks on corridor duty on one of the pen landings. Surely you can get into no trouble there. I would also advise you to forget what you have seen here. Norm 2782, camera crew, camera crew, Norm 2782. about you and your brief attempt to stop the evil path of subversion and your time in captivity at their hideout and how this affects you all. What? We'll be filming and listening to you all time with hidden cameras and mics. Please try to act as an action as well. Okay, I guess you should get on with it. I'll try to be as natural as possible. If I do anything weird, it's probably the after effects of my trauma. I was deeply affected. Thank you for your cooperation. Just pretend I'm not here. Be yourself, please. Your comfort is our pleasure. Hey, you! Yes, Norm 2782? I'll go back to my duties then. Make sure you get my best side. Hey, you! Yes, Norm 2782? Say, hey, don't you need to go to the bathroom? Your waistline looks a little bloated. Plus, if you hang on to your, uh, toxins, you might make yourself sick. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I went just before you arrived. Uh, I, I'm not too regular, to be honest. Must be the odd hours that I work. I'll go back to my duties, then. Make sure you get my best side. No can do. It's locked. Okay, it's mine. A ball of paper, ideal for playing office basketball. I'll straighten it out. D-U-U-U-D-2, warning, feature no longer operational. Is this a warning to do? What am I supposed to do with it? What am I supposed to do with it? Prisoner Ledger, let's see. Mr. Ab Norman, doing time for impersonating Paul Mistelux 30 years ago. Huh, that must be solved. What am I supposed to do with it? I'll leave it right where it is. The roll top opens. Use only. UDDUD0 initiates prisoner evac. Some freaky norm speak, I guess. I have it. Got it. There's more paper underneath. Got it. Guys are about as efficient as I am at getting their stuff together. Must be a hundred pieces of paper on it. U D U D U two. I wonder what it means. Dud duo. Strange. 
I always thought it was a dynamic duo. The last letter is a zero. got to do something. You want me to curl up and hide down there? Got it. Okay, it's moved position now. <laughs> That will trouble me again. Cry, you unwanted technological trinket. <laughs> I don't think that will trouble me again. One of that guy's monitoring devices. Gunny, bye. Cry, you unwanted technological trinket. I think that will trouble me again. This guy is beginning to bug me. Cry, you unwanted technological trinket. I don't think that will trouble me again. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I've cracked it. I appear to have sent Saul and a couple of the other inmates to the roof. Judging by that siren, I think I'd better get up there and help. what we came for. Now go! But die, I can't... <laughs> Sorry, die. Try not to die. Bless my soul, you've liberated Saul. Welcome back, Kent. You truly are a brave genius. I don't think you realize just how difficult that was. I almost got stuck in that misery factory. I see. Where's Guy? I thought he was coming back with you. He kind of met with an accident. I didn't see exactly what happened. He told us to go on without him. No matter. He is our cause's first martyr. We must turn to Saul for our guidance now, while Brian composes our anthem of triumph and loss. Is that what it is? I thought he was washing some pans in a washing machine. No matter. I must continue my work on the gadget you brought here. They are part of the mood magnet. A terrible machine that I am solely responsible for. In what way are you responsible, Saul? I created a terrible machine. A machine which sucks out people's ideas and free will and stores it for later inspection. From what Kent has told me, I would guess there is one of these gizmos in every piece of furniture in the city. People are drained as they sit at work or in front of the TV. The data then goes through one of the mood filters, like the one we were in yet. Then it is sent on to the mood magnet proper, a machine too complicated to recreate. So what's our next step? How do we free everyone from your machine? If we break the data link at one of the booster stations, it should weaken the magnet's grip on the populace long enough for them to realize what is going on. Damn my evil twin! It was only to be used in jails! Where do I find a booster station? Give me a clue and I'll knock it out. I'm feeling kind of frisky. There should be a strange noise when you are near one. It sounds a little like this. I'm on it, Saul. I've seen sad old men standing here watching these for hours. Monster trucks again? Isn't there anything else to watch? That's a mighty small TV. I don't really need one, but it seems like a good bargain. Hello, nice day. It's a terrible day. Oh, just trying to be friendly. Well, go be friendly somewhere else. Do you have a remote for this TV so I can try it out? Why? It works. Can't you see that? But I want to try the other channel. What? Four! Oh, never mind. Wait here, I'll go and find it. Easy. I can reach that hatch now. I'm not planning on moving house yet. 
got it. Lovely balanced mallet. Well, I guess every attic has to have a crate. I think this is a really ancient TV set. Wow, weren't they primitive in those days? I wonder what this is. I don't have any idea. Hey, I think this is the TV shop a long time ago. The plaster has fallen away here. It seems to be a way into the attic above the power station. Ah, oh, the poor little thing. Someone strung him up and left him to die. Ah, uh, let him down. Anyway, this wire may come in handy later. I pity him. I think I should take him along and give him a good... I'll give him a big hug. Ah, uh, oh, his eyes just fell out. Gruesome. Okay, I can unscrew it. I have it. I don't really know what to do with it. This wire is not long enough for what I want. I need something longer. This looks like an important control panel. The contacts where the light bulb connects to. This wire is not long enough for what I want. I need something longer. Great, now to connect the other end to something. This socket should do. It just doesn't want to open. Short circuiting, that was easy. Excellent! The circuit board has power now, and my work is nearly done. These fell out of that teddy bear. What for? I can see perfectly well with my own. What for? I can see perfectly well with my own. This is bricked up good and tight. I guess there's no way out. What goes in here? Hey, these roll nicely into this coin slot. Whoa! Action! Wow! We have power! All oh, systems go! It won't budge. Hey, what's happening? Let me out! Oh, 
Oh man, this just isn't my day. Geez, I really made a mess of that power station. Well, at least the flames warmed the place up a bit. I've got it now. It's a Norm Trooper's truck. I reckon they have a prisoner in the back of it. I further suspect it might be my fellow adventurer, Di. I think I'm talking to myself. The smell from this grill suggests that it sucks air out of my bathroom. Ugh, do you have to look so closely? That's disgusting. Yeah, I could connect this pipe between the wall vent and the truck air intake. I don't believe it, Norm. Have you been eating bean brunch foods again? I haven't, man. I was keeping quiet. I didn't want to bring it up. There's little point in causing aggravation when we're locked together in this truck all day. Now please be quiet and try to control your emissions. It was not me, Norm. Leader Paul will hear of this disgusting incident if his nose doesn't detect it first, that is. You did! I didn't, man! Why not just come clean, eh? You've got a backside like the top of a brown sauce bottle, you. You can talk! Smells like a sewer in here. Oh! Oh, no! I think I'm gonna spew! Please be quiet, old oh, revered colleague. If it gets much worse, I might know. Oh, that's it. I can't hold back any longer. Sorry, mate, but you've asked for this. <laughs> you forced on me uniform, man! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Di, great to see you. How are you? Oh, a bit shaky, son. That sure was a foul smell you subjected me to. Near knocked me clean out. I'm sorry, old friend. Let's go before other norms arrive. Hi, everyone. I bumped into an old friend. Di, you're back. How are you feeling? I just want to sleep. No time for that. Go and help Brian with his measurements. I believe he's on his way to the ordinary outpost. You sure are a hard taskmaster, Miss Heather. See you all later. What's with the long faces? I got Di out. We all accomplished our mission. Saul's a little downhearted. Blowing up the mood transfer substations hasn't had the expected or desired effect. Where do we go from here then? Do we just give up? Saul has another theory. It concerns the Pollutatron, that huge smoke belching structure you passed on the roof of the ordinary outpost just before our beloved founder Di gave his life for our cause. What about it? We must somehow gather enough dried flowers to cover up that terrible wallpaper. If my rich uncle visits, he won't understand your complete allergy to seafood. Um, quite. I think what Saul is saying is that we should attempt to destroy it. Something is happening to his mind, Ken. I think he's put too long in the mood filter. Where are Bri and Di? They have gone to take a few measurements for our next objective. So exactly what happened? We all did our jobs, right? Destroying the mood pumping station must have made some difference. There's no discernible difference. Everything seems pretty much as it was before. And just how do you propose that we do that? This new deodorant increases sweat dispersion by up to 50%. It's been tested thoroughly on fish with more than satisfactory results. A missile, Kent. We have to prepare a missile which can strike at the very heart of Paul's scheme. Okay, a missile. 
what exactly do I need to do this time? I need some explosive toxic substance, a detonator, and something to make a long tube out of. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Exactly what will that achieve, blowing up that pollution device? It will let the rest of the world see what has been going on beneath that pall of soot that has hung over the city for so long. It will also remind the people what the sun looks like and the beneficial properties it possesses. Hey, we're gonna see the sun, right? Just in time for Paul's mighty meeting up at the stadium. So what's up with Saul's gourd? I think his faculties are decaying very rapidly now he has left the mood filter. So our savior is destined to be a drooling vegetable? That's about the size of it, Kent. We will have to make do with the resources we have. We've come too far to turn back now. Back we go. Good luck, Ken. I can't reach it from here. I can't reach it from here. I can't reach it from here. have some. I already have some. That's a rough area of town to go wandering around in. How goes it, not dead guy? Feeling good? Oh, you have caught me in a rare moment of sanity, Kent. <laughs> I am trying to remember something. Something that could restore me to my previous state of mind. A secret of mine which has uh, slipped away. Okay, man, I'll leave you to it. Sounds a little deep for me, you know. It's an oxyacetylene torch for welding things. Well, it seems to be in working order. When I'm finished, I'm going to tell my agent to get me some safer games. rope, these planks, and those drums to make a raft.
I can't lift them high enough to put them on there. I can't. They're too heavy and awkward to lift. But I may be able to roll them. Looks like I'm onto a winner here. The raft's a little lower in the water than it was, but it'll float. I managed it. Great, Kent. You seem to have everything. I'll get to work right away. There's no time to waste. Everyone, I remembered what I couldn't. I have a backup of my mind in my lands. It will be somewhere under the stadium. Someone must go and get it. Restore me back to my original condition, and I could be a great help. So, you want me to fetch this brain backup device of yours, huh, Sal? That's right, Kent. You swim along now. I knew you'd say that. You're my hero, Kent. Would you do that? We will all be there at the stadium. You'll recognize us because we will all be wearing disguises. Go, and good luck. We will see you there. We won't be able to talk to you, though. Just get under the stadium, lad. I'm sure you'll find it. Oh, could you take Brian's guitar with you? He made it himself. He needs it smuggling onto the stage from beneath. Anything else? You want me to take a few pictures, show a few kids around? No. Just take Brian's guitar, deliver it to the stage, and get Saul's brain back for him. We can then confront Paul in front of all the population of the city. Let's see what he makes of that. See you later, Ken. Yeah, see you all later. These guys are guarding the service shaft. I gotta distract them. Ouch! That's live! <gasps>
These bars are in a bad state. They couldn't stop a crawling baby. Got it. Yes, it fits that hole nicely. I think I've made a step. Great! The power indicator has gone to the full. Put them on. Yeah, I can see great in the dark now. No way through here unless I can break through. Wait a minute, haven't I wandered into the wrong game? This guy seems to be the sensei for those ninja turds. There's a forgotten room back here. I don't think anyone will miss it. I may have attracted unwanted attention with that last cavalier move. These must be to stop folks from wandering into the sewers and getting eaten by gators. Access? Access to what? That should keep that slab down. Rats! I know it's cliché and illogical to be afraid of something so small, but I am. So there! I won't have them biting my toes. Ouch! Pointless. I'll rip it down. I should be able to squeeze through here. Wow, some kind of machine with a brain inside. This has to be what I'm looking for. It's a brass tube, kind of like an incendiary device. I think this started the fire in here. Okay, I got it. I feel a lot safer down here. I have no need for chunks of concrete. Potentially, they have no use whatsoever. 
I'll leave them here. I should be able to squeeze through here. Come out from down there, whoever you are! Being underground is... Yeah, I can probably pick the lock with my axe. Let's have a look inside. Uh-huh, some kind of suit. Come out from down there, whoever you are! Being underground is not normal! I can wait all day! I should be able to squeeze through here. Here goes. Gotta be quick. Put me somewhere safe as soon as possible. I should be able to squeeze through here. Okay, I'll take it. From down there, whoever you are, being underground is not normal. I can wait all day. Come out from down there, whoever you are, being underground is not normal. I can wait all day. This wall sounds as hollow as Paul's promise. center of the earth. I reckon I can jack the door open with this. for haberdashery?